What? There's so much astral energy. But where's it all coming from? It's almost like... it's alive. That was the spirit channeling ceremony just now. No, it was more than that. What the hell was that? It felt like everything was on the brink of... Like the whole world was seconds from... Oblivion. It's the same vision as the one my thorns show me. A vision of impenetrable darkness that swallows up us and everything else. An empty void. A nothing so complete and dominating that there aren't even words to describe it. The end of time. The visions of the apocalypse you've been seeing. If I'd known how bad they were, I... Uh. So, everything we just saw, those were Nayori's memories, right? That's right. It was as if her innermost thoughts were speaking directly to us. At least I know they weren't mine. That power flowing into her... It reminds me of Xion's thorns. If they're what's responsible for all these visions she's been having, then maybe... Maybe my thorns are made from that same astral energy? If that is the case... We just found the missing link between your thorns and what happened here three centuries ago. No, more than a link. Perhaps even the very heart of the matter. I've never felt astral energy so powerful. What was that? If it's the same energy your thorns are made of, it must be dark astral energy, right? And isn't that something only Renans have? Correct. Dark astral energy is possessed by Renans alone. And when enough astral energy gathers together, it develops its own form of sentience. If so, maybe that complete oblivion is exactly what the Renan astral energy's will is wishing for. But why? I don't know. Will can be a pretty vague thing to nail down. It's more of a feeling. Just like the will of Dana. But the will of Dana is made up of astral energy too, right? And if that's what's been showing us these visions... I don't know, should we really be getting so involved with this thing? Dana's will would never want oblivion! But you can't say that for sure! Cut it out, you two. Squabbling over theories will get us nowhere. <sighs> Let's keep moving. If it's Dana's will showing us these memories, then I'm as clueless about its motives as any one of us. But if it could lead us to the truth, then I want to find out more. Xion's right. All we can do is keep going. If these really are Naori's memories we're watching, there could be truths in them I was never aware of. And I think they may be the kinds of truths I need to confront if we're going to keep fighting.
I'm sorry about what I said earlier. Come on. To understand what the thorns are. Yes. And their source. A ceremony that occurred three centuries ago. We still don't know how to get rid of them. I just hope we can find a way. Soon, we might very well learn the truth behind Shion's thorns. As well as my own past, I have to be ready to face anything. Whatever happens. I just need a little time first. I want to make sure I go into whatever... That vision we saw. It was as if it was meant specifically for us. What do you make of it? Do you still think the will of Dana might be involved somehow? Maybe it's trying to tell us something. But what? Well, it could be supernatural. You know, like seeing dead people, messages from beyond the grave, ghost-type stuff. Th that's your grand theory? That we're being haunted? Come on, Law. Wait. He might be closer to the mark than you think. What if a person's thoughts and deeds were to somehow become indelibly etched into the ether of a place? And what if those with a connection could then somehow pick up on them? You think that's what it was? Some kind of message someone left here for us? I am merely entertaining the possibility. Whether it was Dana's will, or somehow connected to the Sovereign and Maiden's powers, I do not know. Okay, back up a sec. You're saying that if a place is full of enough astral energy, it can somehow show us events that happened centuries ago? More to the point, how does that much astral energy gather in one place anyway? Seems unlikely it happened naturally. Whatever it was, it survived here intact for 300 years. Whoever left it for us, the strength of their intent is beyond doubt. The strength of their intent? Uh, 